solving trigonometric equation. This is level one where they're not super crazy, but there's a little cray in here. I have not one, not two, not three. Huh, just kidding. I have three examples. I just throw my unit circle down there. We're going to need it later. So, this first one, the tangent of theta is equal to zero, and they want it for all the real numbers. So that's the same thing as saying that theta is the inverse tangent of zero. Why? Because you used inverse tangiation? No. The inverse tangent of both sides. And the tangent of the inverse tangent, that's just the argument theta. So we go down to our unit circle, and we find that that's going to happen at two spots on opposite sides of the unit circle. So how are we going to write our answer? We find, we find, we find the first positive place because every time you go around the circle, every time you go around the circle, you're going to get a coterminal angle. So our smallest non-negative, our smallest non-negative radian measure happens to be zero. So that's what we write. It's the smallest positive plus the multiple of pi's around. And here, that's where k is an integer. So our answer is zero, the smallest positive, plus k pi around, because that zero happens every pi. You bet. Now, of course, we wouldn't write it with that zero. So, bam, we write it as k pi. Now, notice when k is equal to zero, because the integers are the positive and negative counting numbers. When k is equal to zero, theta is zero. Oh, we have that solution. When k is equal to one, then, 1 times pi, ah, pi, we have that solution. When k is 2, 2 pi, we have that solution. When k is minus 1, minus pi, that's in our solution. So we're done. Boot and flower. Oh. Now let's go on to number 9, number 9, number 9, all aboard. And that is a legit symbol for all reals. It's math, dog. Now what? We're looking for where the sine is equal to a minus one half. That's the same as saying theta over two is equal to the inverse sine of one half. We go down to our unit circle. Oh, and we see it's seven pi's over six and 11 pi's over six. Sick! Because our sine is our second component in our coordinates on our unit circle? Yeah. So we're going to write those. The first smallest non-negative values. But what? Each one of those values happens, happens, happens every multiple of pi, every multiple of 2 pi. Because when you go around, you're coterminal, and you found that 7 pi over 6 plus 2k pi is going to be a solution, where k is an integer. And the same thing happened for 11 pi over 6. Every 2k pi around, you found a solution. So now, that's for theta over 2. If we're trying to get to division, get rid of division, we use multiplication. So I'm going to multiply everything by 2. You get multiplied by 2, you get multiplied by 2, you get multiplied by 2, and when we do, we reduce because they bite. Ah, ah, ah. Oh! And that's how your solution turns out to be 7 pi over 3 plus 4k pi. And 11 pi over 3 plus 4k pi. Box and flower. Next. I know. Your secant, your cosecant, your cotangent game is weak. Let's turn it into something that looks a little more familiar. Let's turn it into... Uh, let me clean this up real quick here. Uh, yeah, 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 good. Let's turn it into cosine. You can use the reciprocal identity. Yeah, there it is. And then what? We find out where the cosine is minus one half. I have two spots on my unit circle. We see that going to be 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. So, wait a minute. 59, 58, 57, 56. This video goes fast, so we're not waiting the entire minute. We're in that interval from minus 2 pi to 0. So no longer do we need the k pi on it. We just need the few discrete answers. 
but they need to be negative angles. So we'll take our first one. Boom. Minus 4 pi over 3. You're just like, how do I write that negatively? Well, you take the whole thing and you subtract off 4 pi over 3. You take the, here, like this. 4 pi over 3 minus 2 pi. That's going to give you the negative representation of that angle. We get a common denominator. We add their numerators. And looks like it turns out to be a minus 2 pi over 3. So I'll put that right there. Boom. But there's one more. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. How are we going to get that 2 pi over 3 written negatively? Same trick. Everywhere I go, I see the same trick. I'm just going to go and I'm going to subtract off that 2 pi. Whoa. Whoa there. Common denominator. Add their numerators. Got my two negative answers in that given interval. Uh, uh, boxing flower.